Today is a Sunday, and it's Easter Sunday, isn't it? Who can tell me what happened in the Bible on Easter Sunday? Okay. Yeah, so he died, and that was on Friday, wasn't it? And then, three days later, what happened, Elsa? Jesus rose. Jesus rose from the dead, and then he came out of the tomb, and then he confused some of his disciples. Where is he? And then he came to his disciples, and he came to hundreds of other people. He ate some food to show that he really was there, and he said some words. Some of the words that Dan is going to talk about today is... Peace be with you. Now, what could that mean? I can assure you it doesn't mean pieces of chocolate be with you. Maybe that's on your mind, but it's not what it means. It's got everything to do with what happened on Good Friday. Good Friday, Jesus died. Let's do our finger thing. Jesus died, was buried, rose, for our sins. That's the important bit according to the scriptures, for our sins. So Jesus died and rose again for our sins so that we can be friends with God, so that we can have peace with God. So peace be with you is Jesus saying, you can now be friends with God because I washed your sins away. Sin and death are now gone. So what is the important bit about the resurrection? Well, one bit is a thing well, I'll give you an image to think about first. Think for a second with me. You've got a friend, and they say they're really good at skateboarding. They say they can do all these amazing tricks. They say they can do a backflip. But you won't really believe them until you get to the skate park, you see it, oh, yeah, they did the backflip. Wow, that was awesome. You won't see it until they do the thing that they can say they can do. Jesus' resurrection is a little bit like that. Jesus said when he was alive before he died, he was God. Jesus said he could wash away our sins. And then the resurrection proves Jesus got rid of death because he came back to life. And so Jesus also got rid of sin. And so that means, that proves that we can be friends with God. Isn't that good? So peace with God and then peace in our hearts, knowing, oh, God did do what he said he could do. So we can be thankful to God for that. Let me pray about that now. Dear God, we thank you that you love us. We thank you that you died for our sins, and that you washed away our sins, and the punishment for that, which is death. We thank you that we can have peace and be friends with you now, and we thank you that we can have peace forever. Amen.